Hello and welcome to a new video. It is time to celebrate. You probably know that. Recently, many YouTubers like Simon Dev or Acer Rolla have published Grass videos and even prompted other people to create their own Grass implementations, which turns out to be the reason I'm making the video. How to make dynamic grass for a two-dimensional game and make it look really cool. What's important is that we're going to be using Sprite 2Ds in order to render our grass. A sprite usually comes with a UV in order to display that sprite in their correct shape. Using a shader allows us to modify how the sprite is going to be displayed on the screen, with no real need of modifying an actual object, which means that we're simply going to be modifying how the pixels are going to be displayed on a square, which is really performant. With two simple variables, one called wind direction and one called wind speed, we can easily replicate some wind movement on our grass as sprite. Wind direction controls at which direction a certain Perlin noise function is moving at. Wind speed controls the speed at which the Perlin noise function is moving at. And as well, it controls the strength of the same Perlin noise function, which allows us to control way better how much the sprite should be rotating because the wind speed will determine how fast will it be moving because the noise function is moving faster. Not only that, but how much should it move or rotate because it will determine as well the strength of the noise function. And you will probably ask yourself, okay, that was pretty cool. Is there anything else? Of course there's something else. I grabbed the sphere, I gave it my player position, and then I divided that sphere in two. One that was on the left side, one that was on the right side. The one on the right side flipped in red. I repeated the process two times with a bigger circle and an even bigger circle. After that, I multiplied the bigger circle by 0.2, the smaller circle by 0.5, and the smaller, smaller circle by 0.6 or 7. I added them together and then I added them to the win result before applying the result as the rotation of the UV. As the Perlin noise function is using world space UV and the circles are as well using world space UVs, this means that any blade of grass we place in the world will receive a different rotation depending on their wind direction and their wind speed. Which is great. And the video is done. Thank you so much, guys. And of course, a big shout out to everyone who has been subscribing since the last two years, because it's been a tiny little growth we've been doing in this tiny channel. And we finally arrived to 200 subscribers. So this is, yeah, my tiny little gifty to everyone who has been, you know, supporting the channel. And so thank you. Thank you everyone so much. And before I miss, I wish you a happy new year. Hey, hope you enjoyed it.